have sympathy for the bullies. And let's see if we have any sympathy for Marth or Puff in this game. These guys always going to be doing the zoning war. We see Zane versus Hungrybox. So this very tournament is going to be played as well. See how both of these Marths handle these situations. All right. Yep, Sharks in with an up air. So Marth, oh, oh, out of the scramble and out of hit stun. Jerry with a quick pickup. Yeah, a little curious there with the uh, the up throw. That is one thing that Jerry's Puff is notable for. It's so many rests. On SVAT, you saw SVAT missing the DI a lot in his up throw, but Jerry also found rests out of nothing. Yeah, I think Puff is probably one of the least explored top tiers. You know, Mango yeah. kind of brought a lot of her strength to light. Um, and now Hungrybox with his reign of dominance with the character as well. Um, but I feel as though there's still so much more that can be done. Yeah, they could um, be the degenerate style of Michael that we all love. They could be more aggressive like Tusain and maybe even Jerry. They could be flashy and out of nowhere like Tech, the French Puff. Yeah. Or the French Rome de Doux. So many flavors in there. There it is. And all of them have five jumps. They all do. It's a lot of bang for your buck. It's pretty good. I feel Mark like uh, Jake and Shake is having a little bit of trouble. Just yeah, with like the neutral here. Because it's like he's going for these zoning fairs, but it's in spaces where it's not going to be threatening to Jerry. And so it's it's more giving Jerry time to come in. Oh, oh that doesn't charge enough. He might have been going for a second pound and just kind of missed the input. Yeah, it happens. It does happen. All right. But Jake and Shake, we take those. Yeah. I want to see from Marth always kind of corralling Puff towards the edge where you can start to more easily predict for jumps. Because once you get those first two jumps, the next three are so much like lower in their uh, mobility that you can start to predict a little bit more easily where to put your fair. Oh, nice. okay. Jerry misses the DI, no. but rising pound. No. Real lifesaver. <laughs> Julie Puff is... Very, ah. very, very, very good at recovering, I must say. <laughs> All right, Jake and Shake and made the right decision, but wasn't able to follow through entirely yeah. on that one. And then, to be fair, that's why so many Mars go for the, uh, the forward smash. Yeah. And the, that DI yeah. strategy rather than the down air. Trades off, but won't kill. It's just going to be able to get positioning back. No. This is actually really scary on FD, but... Good timing there. And the good spot dodge at the end. It has much less landing lag than you think. It's kind of like Fox's Firefox. Wow. Okay. Wow. I like it. I can dig it. Yeah. So he, he DI'd right for the for the forward smash, which was up and away. Right. But I've never seen a mark wave dash out of grab and up tilted. That's super cool. Maybe it's just because no one expects the puff to DI that hard. Because normally it's out and away. Yeah. Right, pretty good zoning right now from Jaken. Okay. Scary Ooh. crush there by Jerry. Yeah, Jake doesn't take the bait. Yeah, good patience. He's been pretty good about his grabs this game. Uh, yeah. Jerry is definitely willing to do the crouch into uh, grab, but I think Jaken has never really shown that he's vulnerable to that. I wonder if Jerry will test it a little bit more in game two. Oh, all right. Yeah, I got caught facing the wrong way. He catches him out. Picking the crown, and a region will die. Last stock here for game one. Nearly four minutes in here. Too, uh, too ridiculous. Oh, yep. That'll be that. Every now and again, yeah, you just got to check it out. That was Make it happen. It was rough. Man, Jerry. Jerry's nasty. I like his puff a lot. A little, little glance at the camera. You like that. Pound, uh, pound rest is a little rare. I don't see Hungrybox getting a lot of those. I think it's because there's a, you can DI it. People, play. people have the appropriate counterplay mostly yeah. down, so you'll see it now and again. But it's, uh, it's not nearly as common as you know the days before. The good old days that we weren't part of. Oh. Okay. Empty jump forward smash. I see you. Yeah, and without those two rests, Jerry was doing, or Jacob Chicken was doing fine. Yeah, and, uh, like, like he was definitely getting a lot of uh, Jerry's jump patterns down, and he was punishing him accordingly. Nice. This is a little bit different from Jerry with the down airs added. Okay. Nice, nice. Good pickup there. Yeah. I was wondering Puff, 
Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so Puff Forward Smash is kind of one of the more curious moves because not only does it kind of squish her down a little bit sometimes, but it also is just surprisingly beefy. Yeah, the knockback growth is a mount similar to the one where it becomes as strong as Marth's Forward Smash uh, at later points. Ooh, Speaking man. of a strong Forward Smash. Yeah, this map doing wonders for Jake and Shaken. Yeah, Jake and Shaken just... He has been hitting all the right DI mix-up, it feels like. And Jerry, a little bit lost for it. Hasn't been able to find his rests. Yeah. Hasn't really had anything outside of that first edge guard. And much more respectful space for Jake and Shaken as well, where he's not getting hit by those pounds. He's able to find these grabs. Yeah. You can see Jerry trying to shark a little bit. Oh. I love the light shielding. It's a good slide off there by uh, Jake and Shaking to avoid being tracked up on platform. Patience there. Okay. A little antsy, maybe. Yeah, Jerry, not in the Michael school. At this point, Michael would be grabbing the edge and doing nothing else. Michael is definitely a man who is willing to wait. It's but a social construct that the person who's behind has to approach. Oh, the shoot step. Jake yeah. Shagan is, is looking like amazing. Forward smashes. Yeah, he's looking so solid right now. Dozens of forward smashes. Dozens. Yeah. A screaming Tobias Funke <laughs> wearing his Mark cosplay. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's holding tight to center. He's not getting caught out by a yeah. lot of like these, you know, these baiting. Like Jerry's really, it feels like he's really bait heavy. He'll go for a lot of these. Uh, that tech on the forward air is so hard to hit. Jake still makes the recovery, but that's a lot of times how like Hungry Box destroyed Zane in their yeah. stuff. Yep, drill the up smash. Rest off the table for now. Did he just con cancel? He just like jumped down to Randall and just I think he started con canceling. Oh. <laughs> Jake and looking to oh. do on Marth. Okay. Oh. Finds him. Yeah. Picks him up all wow. the way and welcome to the wall. Yeah, rough DI but saves his jump all the way through. Yep, has all the time in the world to get that out. And this is right on the time to where Jerry can go ahead and pull this on back. Jerry at 109. Doesn't oh. look for it. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, that kind of cross up in air can be real dangerous. Yeah. If you catch someone in the air. Oh. Go for oh. it. No, air dodge. Jerry oh. fighting for everything. He's been doing a great job of catching. Uh, <gasps> no! Wow! Wow! Three stock comeback by Jerry. Pulling it all the way back. Crazy stuff. That's what's so scary about fighting Puff is scary you get Jerry. A little bit antsy. You mess up your spacing a little bit. You've been so consistent throughout the whole game, minute by minute by minute, stock by stock, little hit by little hit. She and then literally you get hit with a pound. She literally blows up on you. Julie Puff. Sometimes in this game reminds me more of coughing because oh. self-destruct and rest are just so similar. She just gets to keep it sometimes, though. And we wondered earlier in the set we were saying that Jacob was getting good oh. amount of grabs, and Jerry hadn't really tested him with Crouch. Finally, he pulls that out of his hat. So damaged. Like many a rabbit. All right, finds the DI mix-up and won't quite hit the tipper. Oh, oh, out of shield forward smash by Jerry. Yeah, doesn't have time to grab edge, but he does poke yeah. out the missed sweet spot. He's missed a lot of those. Yeah, it's been rough here. Okay. Yeah, he's just he's trying to find space. Nice. Finds that again. Yeah. Jerry a little bit hesitant to jump out of these combos. He doesn't want to lose any of his resources until Jake and Chicken creates yeah. a, a very credible threat. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Not quite able to find anything. He's just trying to pry his way into Jerry's space, and Jerry is so unwilling to give it. Puff it has some of the best defensive play in the game, and Jerry's exploiting the hell out of it right now. Oh. Spooky stuff. Nice. Yep. Goes for the reset, tech chase, follow through, but. Going for the forward smash again there, but Jerry finds the grab, and another missed sweet spot. These have been really rough for Jake and Shake. He isn't sweet spotting, but he'll pick that up. I mean, it's it's a little bit impatient, right? Yeah. You have to 
risk going down that deep, and if you start going down that deep, Jerry can start to read you and go for the fair and the uh, uh, the tech trap. Oh, okay. By the yeah, wall tech trap. Yeah. Back airs. Nice. I love the air out of shield. You get the knockdown. Covers a ton of space. Big curious with the uh, the up throw there. But you know, live your best life, my guy. That's right. Oh, spooky stuff there. Yeah. Even that was like a very curious secret. So I was like, why isn't he just grabbing the ledge? It's right there. Alright, keep puff out. I think that's all of her jumps. Yeah. Yep. Nice. He was counting too. Yeah, it scopes the landing. I mean, this has been a tale of three stock comeback so far, but a big kick from Puff. He soars his way back onto stage. Yep, and see, Jerry has started to try to adjust and go off stage. We'll see if that continues. Oh, okay. Finds him. Doesn't Ooh. quite hit it. Needed to go back and pivot it to make sure. That's one thing we haven't seen too much from Jacob Shaken is getting those pivot forward smashes. So he'll go ahead and just raw forward smash out of the throw. Yeah. But it doesn't take the time to hit the dash. Woo! Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, that, that could have been back throw. That could have been rest out of shield. Jerry with an air forward and again. Oh, the nice wall tech! Back. Manages just regular tech as opposed to wall tech jump. So managing the station time there. Oh, goodness. Jacob Shaken, last oh, leg here. Finds yeah. it! There's that pivot forward smash. What deep breath. All right, game four. I'm excited, you know. This is uh, what what if Jake and Shaken could do what oh. Ash Fat and Ice could not? That'd be crazy, honestly. With Marth, that'd be the pullback for sure, because he going down those two games, barely making his way out. And both those first two games ended with a pound rest. Right. It's been a, it's been rough out here, folks. But the actual core gameplay is pretty solid from Jake and Shake, and you clean up his edge uh, grabs, like the ability to get to ledge and sweet spot. Yeah. And you keep kind of the rest of it, maybe add a pivot here or there, and he's looking good. Yeah, I'm trying to just kick Martha's head there. Martha is so susceptible to shield stabbing. It's really, really bad. He's tall. Over six foot. Definitely, definitely not a, not struggling for sure. Yep. Should be the stock. Nice, but yeah. you know, wasn't able to finish off. Yeah. I'm not sure if he actually could have gotten an uh, upbeat after that, maybe. I would oh. Cool. Double. Oh. Two of them. Okay. Wait a second. I feel nothing. Can he finish it I've off? I've already though? seen this story. Can Jake you and Shaken. finish it off, Jake and Shaken? Ah. Uh. Yes, you can. Hey, no! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Marth has to do so much sometimes. 130%. The never-ending story. Falcor! <laughs> Falco! <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. He... Yep. Love these down away. So oh, last match. oh, God! Oh. Yeah, scary stuff here. He's just pounding. Striking the fear Menacingly. of God into his heart. <laughs> Boy. But this is what the matchup often looks like. It's just Marth trying to box out the pup, counting jumps, trying to sh uh, shepherd them so that you can predict when they land on the platforms. Ah. Yeah, he's getting a little antsy here. He wants to finish the stock off. He's been working so hard for it, and there's been so many opportunities where <gasps> it just phantoms, I guess. Uh, you know, it's, it's just it's so hard when it's you know, you turn UCF off for one fans. tournament and all the fans. <laughs> oh, this, that was, that was nice. Yeah. Seamless. Love that too. The roll oh. in being called out by JP Chicken is actually a pretty constant story in the set. Yeah, he's been doing a great job of just maintaining. Look at that. There it maintaining is. his face. Making sure that if Jerry does make the mistake of coming on it, he's going to get punished. Now this turned into Jerry kind of running away with things, the chicken chicken making it very difficult for him. That sequence is funny. Down air, down air, down air. Oh, okay. That is one of Mars' sneakiest kill moves. It comes out quickly and kills upwards. Yeah, it makes it hard to get that tech. Not quite able to find out that full DI out. Yeah. Uh oh. He's going for it. Yeah, he is swinging. Well, Jerry is pretty aggressive and, and has been kind of staying in that zone that Ford's magic. So he's just outside of it. Yeah. 
just threatening enough space. <laughs> Makes it difficult. Okay. How fade ins with an air. Alright, fine. Good. Yeah, that's what he's been fishing for the whole game. Finally, it comes through. Yeah, finally punishing that pound. I feel like Jake and Jacob is getting better throughout the set. Yeah, he's he's warming up pretty nicely, I gotta say. Oh, oh almost. You saw him. Yeah, I could smell that coming. Can you smell what Jerry is cooking? <laughs> All right, Jake and Shaky getting a little bit antsy again and again. He's going for these these follow-ups out of tech chase from forward throw. It's, it's not really getting pieced together, you know? Right. It's tough, though, and honestly, like, I'm okay with you only getting the one grab or the one hit on Puff. That's the matchup. The rest, the most important thing is your defense and your spacing. Your patience. Okay. Ooh, Jerry, go deep. Oh, that shield looking small, but th thankfully for J Jake and Shaggy, yeah. Dare doesn't have much shield stun or shield damage. Really. Yeah, she Jerry does a good job usually of sneaking in into Jake and Shaggy's place. He's starting to adapt really well to that. Yeah. But it's making it tough. Push. Yeah. It's challenging a ton in the air, too. Oh. Yeah. And see, all this is Jake and, like, reading that what Jerry has done the whole game, which is these, like, wave dash ins, these shield flashes. Yeah. But then Jerry will react accordingly. He holds back. Okay. See, he's not punishing those. You could up smash out of shield. You could grab and back throw. You could rest out of shield if you want to get that stock oh, trade. Unfortunate no. SD trying to rising. Uh, Shield breaker there probably. Yeah. Just to see if you can trick Jerry up. A and Puff bit. is potentially like 60% still from dying, and this is Jake Jacob's last stock on loser's side if Jerry brings it through. Yeah. This is do or die. Okay. Yep. Find some air. Oh. That'll actually kill. That's an insane part of the sword to hit him. The hilt. Yeah. Just bonk and jiggly puff on the head. Okay, misses the grab. Jerry crouching at him. Can you keep that main space? Can you maintain that defense? He's doing a good job of it. Jerry Fine. looking for the rest again. He's like, this pound has been my friend through thick and thin. Oh. Yeah. Catches him out. Oh, the down smash. Down smash sends it soccer angle. It's so hard to do with some yeah. Oh. He's just constantly trying to catch him with these. He has pounded more than any puff I've seen at this level of a bracket. The tension thick in the air, oh. thick with puffs. Looking for that roll in as well, and now making it so oh, difficult. It's the wall. Jake and Shake and It's a death percent time. from a pivot forward smash. It is. Oh! Game five. We're going in, folks. Shake it. Shake it. What a set so far. The story of a man's adaptations. Going back to Dreamland. What a set. What a marathon for Jake and Shake. And Jerry has to find rest if he wants to bring it through because that's the only way we've seen him win. Oh, nice. that's it. That's one stock on the board for Jerry. Quick up tilt rest. Unfortunate. Jake and Shake and having to start this at a raw deficit. Full stock. Any two stock, Jerry. That's the real question. We'll see. I think Jerry's going to just start setting a lot more traps here. And he's going to start relying a lot less on pound with the down air. I never believe anymore. I've been burned too many times. It's okay. Jaken. It's okay if you've been hurt, Jack. <laughs> Everyone's hurt the same way. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. Jigglypuff just does. Oh. Oh, sick. Yeah. yeah. That was... There's been so many little moments where yeah. I, I would just think that he would rest or that he would up smash and instead we get like a, a back there. Jerry is honestly pretty fearless in dealing with this Marth. A lot of puffs, they react to Marth's zoning by just giving up. Uh, and to his credit, Jerry keeps going in, but Jacob with another kill. Yeah, his his confirms have graduated into another tier oh. since game one. Since game two, pulling it all the way back here to game five. Pretty much even for us here now. After immediately getting killed, immediate rest. Oh. oh, still has his jump, but doesn't need it. What can Jerry find? 
Uh oh, crosses him up with the down air. He's been down airing so much, and it feels like it's not leading too much. It just gets him out of trouble. It gets him out of trouble, and if it does hit, it puts Buff in a hard knockdown. So okay. It can be extremely beneficial for Mark. I mean, Jerry's uh, down airs as well. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, his down airs haven't been getting him much at all. Uh, either Jake and Shaking is SDIing out, or he's just rolling away. He's got the timing down. It's a tricky one, but right. if you have it down, down becomes a lot less menacing. Right. Oh, that's what he was going for earlier yep. with the SD. And he won last game with an SD. It's true. He did two stock him pretty much. Okay, finds the up tilt. It's a weird way to calculate. It is. <laughs> Remove some variables and it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, soars into that backer. Run the regressions. Oh. Oh. Nice. I like that. He's the forward throw there. Most people expect, you know, they're going to throw position instead. He throws the kill. Yeah, and, and you don't really, like, position is kind of strange in this matchup. Nice. Yeah. Slip under. Yep. Finds his way back in. See, that's where, like, Hungry Box would be covered. He'd be there with the forward air. Yeah. He'd be able to feign you to get you to go down there and react in time. Okay. Back throw. Such great counter right here. Trades off. Dead? Can Puff get there in time? He's dead. Yeah, he's he does dead. Have what a trade. Even stocks. Jerry and Jake and Shake and putting on a show for us. J and J making it happen. 24% stacking it up here. Who would have thought these two Titans would beat this early in bracket? Oh my goodness. Track it. <laughs> I mean, this has been a story already in this whole room. Jake and Shaken coming back all the way from the depths of two pound rests. Yeah. Jerry also had the huge comeback in his own right. That he did. That three stock comeback. Nasty stuff. Ooh. Okay. I think he actually had the DI there, but he wasn't sure of himself. Yes, see how Jerry rolls in and then he goes for the down air? This time, Jacob with a new piece attack, the up out of shield. Doesn't Ooh. quite find it. Gets the re-grab, goes for the mix-up, and Jerry's yeah. ready. Finds him again. Look at this. Phantom hits. Crazy stuff here. We've seen so many. Five, six. More. How many? So many more. How many? <laughs> How many bar swings have to miss? Okay. Goes for the big commitments here. Jerry's at a percent where if he rests, he's definitely trading. The tech. The uncle punch. Oh, my goodness. To the goddamn rescue. As Jerry brings it on with a throw. Still just trading hits. Jerry now in a little bit more control. One of the first Tomahawks we've seen all set, and he finds the back air. Yeah. Game five last stock for Jake and Shaken As here. As Jake and Shaken is added to his tool set, Jerry is added to his, and a kill off the top. It's last stock. Puff Mart, Dreamland. How can this continue? Can I mean, Jake and do what Asphat couldn't? He just might. Jerry has had a monstrous run here, but will it be stopped? Would be Jake and Shake. Oh, oh! Doesn't go for the full punish. He's probably getting just a little bit scared. And we pause, we wait, we see. Okay. He's got the life lead. Oh, he's going for everything over and over. And then he rolls in and Jake has been on dipper. that. Oh! Ah! Oh, God. He's DIing in hard on these back airs, ladies and gentlemen. And it is looking scary for us here. He's going ahead. He's got center. He's just holding on. Letting Jerry. Do his thing and punishing for it. What you got? Okay, Jerry. Jake Geeky. or Jerry? Oof. Jake or Jerry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the Jerry in his clutches. Oh. He's finding his way in. Gets no. the grab. Not oh. quite. Does he can try it again? No, the big stop. Oh! oh. oh. Shaking, shaking. Reverse 3 0. What a set. Pulls it back and all the boys popping off. That's a. That's one for the boys. That oh, is definitely goodness. one for the boys. Taking him down, pulling it all the way back. We're going to take a quick break and come back Five minutes. with Gatsu and Ice. Thank you for joining us here. You'll see us again soon. Crazy stuff.